with GM Billy King and head coach Lionel Hollins in South Africa and both due to set off on vacations. It would appear that once Earl Clark is waived, as Real GM reported, is on its way Tuesday morning, the Brooklyn Nets are done for the summer. One of relative success. Even after re-signing All-Star center Brooke Lopez and Thad Young to multi-year deals, with the departure of Clark, the Nets sit below the luxury tax threshold. No small feat considering just two years ago, they established an NBA record tax. Now the Nets do still have their issues. With the emergence of Boston and a healthy Paul George, Brooklyn will be hard pressed to sneak into the playoffs again, and they're still unlikely to make their own first round selection till 2019. But they were able to keep Andrea Bargnani in New York State. Congratulations, Nets fans. Really, congrats. Cliff Alexander is set to begin his first NBA training camp in the fall with the Portland Trailblazers after they signed the Kansas product to a two-year deal in the offseason. If Alexander's name sounds familiar for an undrafted free agent, it should, as Alexander was once a top five high school recruit and projected top five NBA pick. As told by SB Nation in a July 30th piece, Alexander had trouble maintaining consistent minutes under Bill Self and when, as the 6'8 former Jayhawk says, he finally understood his role, Alexander was suspended from the team after his mother filed for a loan from a financial company known to specialize in lending to top draft picks, with Kansas fearing NCAA violations. Expect Alexander to start the year in the D-League with the Blazers already rostering former lottery selections Noah Vonley and Ed Davis, not to mention Mason Plumley. But keep an eye on a player still possessing much talent. Finally, ESPN is reporting that Adidas has submitted a $200 million bid to sign Rockets guard James Harden, whose contract with Nike recently expired. It's a big investment for Adidas, who last year fell below Under Armour, becoming just the third highest selling apparel company in the US. Under Armour having reigning MVP Steph Curry under contract for an insane by juxtaposition $4 million a year. Adidas made a similar splash a few years back with Bulls guard Derrick Rose, but have seen middling returns with the former MVP's injury troubles. Nike has until the end of next week to match the offer.